Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I have this super fabulous realistic practice hand to show you and can we take a minute for this packaging, it's amazing. So this is the hand that I'm going to be showing you today and it is the Glamour Liz five finger or four fingers one thumb practice hand and it is hand painted to create that really super realistic effect I mean you can see in these close-ups how blimmin lifelike it is so let's have a closer look at this hand so this is cast on a real hand and then it is hand painted you can see all the detail in the hand the thumb and the fingers even have fingerprints the detail is impeccable you also get this gorgeous little cute ring detail that comes on the hand and the tips come already applied so you also get instructions and if you go to glamourliz.com you can purchase hands and also feet from there which is awesome. So it has all the instructions for the different methods of for example soaking off if you want to glue the nails on or the non-glue method. So this is how the hand comes, it comes with tips already applied, these are white tips that it came with and you can just see the amount of detail that goes into this hand. I have got another hand and it is not as detailed as this it is definitely no way near as lifelike as this the detail and care and love that's gone into making this hand just really shows and you've got the glamour liz on the base of the hand as well and i'm just showing you next to my hand how realistic the fake practice hand looks it it looks more realistic than my own hand my hand kind of looks weird compared to it this hand is amazing it moves like a normal hand as you can see here it's got great flexibility and you can hold the nail as if you were holding the nail if you were working on a client so it is so good for practicing techniques on it and it really is just amazing so as you can see here if you've got the tips applied in this way there is a gap underneath the nail so if you were just doing a gel polish design over the nail this would work absolutely fine you could leave the tips how they are paint the design on and practice in that way but I would say if you are doing, um, for example, sculpting or extensions, want to practice that kind of thing by applying a tip, you'd want to try it a different way. And I'll show you that in the next part of the video. So I'm just showing you how easy it is to remove the nails if you're doing the non-gluing method, which is all I will be using this hand for. I won't be gluing tips on this hand because I don't feel like it's necessary to. So the tips really easily pull out from the nail canal. This hand is the only one on the market that has the really deep nail canal. And you can see the nail beds for a closer look. So this is what I'm talking about when I say nail canal. It's the gap underneath the cuticle area where the tip slides up into to secure it in place. It is really deep so it holds it really tight onto the nail. So I'm just showing you, you literally just push the nail up in. Make sure it's straight before you push it in. You could just push it in a little way like that and leave it quite long or you can push it in here as I'm doing really deep into that nail canal until it stops and have a really short nail to practice on so applying that tip again underneath the nail canal and pushing it in this one I'm going to leave only a little bit in so you can see how you can change the length of the nail if you want to apply it this way and you can see there the length of the two different nails of how far you can push it into the nail canal and I'm just showing you again removing it with some tweezers so you can get a better look when I am removing it and you can see there how far it goes up into that nail canal to secure it in place so that is the way that we've been told to apply it however Glamour Liz has actually just recently showed us you can apply it differently by turning it around and applying it with the tip of the nail first so you would push that under the nail and by doing it this way it solves that problem of having that gap under the nail so you push it in all the way in and it creates that realistic nail bed area so you've got that platform ready to stick your tips onto ready to apply your forms under and by doing this you are getting no gaps whatsoever under the nail it fits a lot better than applying it the other way around however if you were just doing a gel polish design applying it the other way around would be fine so i'm just showing you on the thumb as well on the bigger nail it applies in the exact same way really super easy to apply and it looks fabulous. 
So as you can see here, all tips are applied in that method and it creates that perfect natural nail base ready for tip or sculpting. And you can see here, this is the before, how much of a gap there was underneath the nail and this is after applying them in this way. There's absolutely no gap underneath the nail so it's going to make it so easy to apply tips and forms and you can practice just on this length if you want to. And as you can see there, it's super secure which is just perfect and they look so lovely i'm just showing you here how secure they sit if you apply the tips in this way you honestly don't need to glue them because they are so secure so i just thought i'd show you how to apply a form and how easy it is so I'm just prepping this form how I would for a normal client, rolling it between my fingers to get that nice curve in. And I'm literally just taking that form, sliding it up underneath the nail, which can I say is 10 times easier than applying it onto a client's nails because clients move and you can hold this still, which is amazing. So I'm just securing it at the end, pinching it and holding it with my other hand around that finger base and then I'm securing it underneath the nail with the tabs as well. What I would say is it will be good to get a little bit of sellotape just to secure those back tabs in place so that it doesn't move around when you're using it. So there you have it, that is the Glamourless hand, you'll be seeing an awful lot of this on my channel. Thank you so much to Liz for sending me this hand, it is so stunning, so beautiful. I can't wait to start using it and practicing techniques with it. It is truly the best hand that I have so far. So thank you so, so, so much. And thank you so much to you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me at Isabel May Nails on my Instagram account and like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.